Comparatives and Superlatives Comparatives and superlatives are special types of adjectives used when comparing two or more things. The most difficult aspect of utilizing comparatives and superlatives is ensuring that we write them correctly, but with a little practice, comparatives and superlatives can be quickly mastered. In this lesson, we will learn what comparatives and superlatives are, the rules for how to form these adjectives the correct way, and how to use them effectively in a sentence. Comparative adjectives Comparative adjectives are words used to describe a noun by comparing it to another noun. We usually think of words like bigger or smaller, but comparative adjectives can be a bit more challenging than that. The way to form comparative adjectives is based on the number of syllables in the adjective and whether or not the adjective ends with the letter Y. For example, I am faster than my friend. Arizona is hotter than Alaska. Superlative adjectives Superlative adjectives are words used to describe a noun when comparing it to two or more nouns to the highest or lowest degree. We usually think of words like biggest or smallest, but like comparative adjectives, it's not always as simple as adding est. The number of syllables and whether or not the adjective ends with the letter Y also helps us determine how to form a superlative adjective. For example, She is the tallest student in the class. That was the shortest movie in the series. One syllable adjectives. Let's look at comparative and superlative forms of the word for the most basic one syllable adjectives, where we add er for the comparative form and est for the superlative form. For example, If the adjective is big then its comparative adjective form will be bigger and superlative adjective form will be biggest. If the adjective is tall then its comparative adjective form will be taller and superlative adjective form will be tallest. Two syllable adjectives. Now, let's look at comparative and superlative forms of the word for adjectives with two syllables. Comparative adjectives with two syllables can be formed by making the ER ending or by adding the words more or less before the adjective. For superlative adjectives, we use EST ending along with the words most or least. For example, If the adjective is happy, then its comparative adjective form will be happier, and superlative adjective form will be happiest. If the adjective is nervous, then its comparative adjective form will be more or less nervous, and superlative adjective form will be most or least nervous. Three or more syllable adjectives. Let's finally look at comparative and superlative forms of the word for adjectives that are three or more syllables long. In these cases, we always add more or less before a comparative adjective and most or least before a superlative adjective. For example, If the adjective is wonderful then its comparative adjective form will be more or less wonderful and superlative adjective form will be most or least wonderful.
If the adjective is mysterious then its comparative adjective form will be more or less mysterious and superlative adjective form will be most or least mysterious. Irregular adjectives When using comparative and superlative adjectives, it is important to note that there are some irregular adjectives that don't follow the rules we've encountered so far in this lesson. Let's look at some of these irregular adjectives along with their comparative and superlative forms. Good Better Best Bad Worse Worst Little Less Least Far Farther Farthest Many More Most Thank you.